Hello and welcome to episode 9 of our Kingdoms Reborn Shogunate series. Today is the finale of the series in which we are going to take our mighty army and uh, conquer the entire map. Might have to end up doing a time lapse for uh, some of these minor cities, but we're going to get it all done today, get it all finished, and go all the way through the rest of our tech tree. Well, as much as we reasonably need to, most likely. Got a little bit more research to do to unlock our mobile suits slash Gundams and then lay waste to the entire map, build a couple more things, and uh, should be a whole lot of fun. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We are still researching industrial technologies. After that, we will research the mobile suits and then get on with what we need to do. But we do still have a little bit of stuff we can do economically. Uh, we are about 100 employees short here in our main colony. And we do not have housing for all of them. That was something we had started to work on last time by expanding up in this area. But of course, these houses aren't ever going to fully upgrade unless we have all of their luxury needs fulfilled. And we're currently having a little bit of a problem supplying some of those level one, or I'm sorry, tier one luxuries. Uh, we kind of fixed furniture a little bit by building, well, uh, a lot of these uh, furniture workshops. They are just absolutely dominating furniture production right now. But we do need to get a little bit more stuff going here. We have plenty of cannabis coming in off of the other uh, colony, but it's not being routed to the houses. I think in due time that will end up solving itself. We have our luxury importer. We have our market. We have all this other stuff here in this area to try and get stuff supplied. But it does take a long time to get everything where it needs to go. We'll just take a look down here at our luxuries. We do have in this town, we do have 970 cannabis. But that obviously is not enough for our enormous population and so we started growing some more over here which we will continue to harvest and continue to grow as time progresses this is going to be a long episode so uh all of you guys who like that welcome congratulations all of you who don't two times watch speed is a thing you may use it if you desire <laughs> so we'll we'll go ahead and just keep on going we need to upgrade our population more than anything else but we don't want to neglect our colony either because they could still be very valuable in supplying a lot of this stuff. Remember, they are our primary cannabis supplier right now, and they do have pretty much all of the stuff that they can be making maxed out unless we were to put another one of these somewhere. But the way that this island is laid out, I really don't have anywhere else to put anything because this does have to be a unique uh, provincial building. So all we can do for these guys is just make sure everything else is good to go. And the housing stock is adequately maintained. They're still missing some tier 1 luxuries. So they could probably stand to have stuff like pottery over here. And I don't remember whether or not we actually have any of that infrastructure built up here. So I think what might be a smart idea would be for us to put in some of that stuff. Clay pits and the like. We, we have plenty of space. We're not using all of it. We just need to make sure that we are... Uh, not completely wasting our time here, taking care of everything that needs to be taken care of. So we'll put two of those right next to each other. And then, of course, come down here to our potter, which is in the peas section, in case I forgot. <laughs> and we'll, we'll stick a, a couple of those right there. Get them all connected up with roads, like so. Uh, quick build, because we have a ton of money get these things all good to go and of course crank them up super upgrade it is so awesome to have this shift click thank you very much for alerting me in the comments of that I had no idea that existed it upgrades all of these and that is fantastic now we don't have glass oh we actually do okay I just have to click more than once Oh, that is so glorious. Absolutely fantastic. I can't believe it. Oh, what, what, what have I been doing wrong my whole life without this? Oh, boy. Okay, great breeders. Why do I have four great breeder cards? No, no, no. We can, we can sell some of those. We don't need them. Not like 240 coins is really going to do that much for us anyway, but it's, it's something at least. So like I said, clay pits, good to go. I'm not worried about the budget being 22. I'm not going to put any frugality cards in there, but we might want to go ahead and get some of those other uh, production boosting cards. If we can find some of those or just buy them 
or synthesize them because we do have the facilities for some of that. We're making paper here in the paper maker, as one would logically expect. And over here in the town, we can buy cards. And then I believe one of these other buildings, I don't remember where I put any of the stuff, which is a huge problem. But I believe one of these somewhere over here is going to allow us to synthesize cards some other way, but I don't remember where it is or what it is. And by the time this video goes up, it's not going to matter because the series will be over. So that's a unfortunate, a little bit of a lackluster preparation on my part, but it happens. Man, we are just cleaning house with a lot of this stuff. How's our uh, tier three luxury? Oh, wow. We're, uh, we're really really cranking it on tier three luxury. So I think we're probably okay getting every single house in our main town up to level eight. The colony, not so much. We, we just don't have enough going on here for luxuries, which is why I started doing clay pit stuff. But these guys, I don't think have enough. Oh yeah, we're missing like 42 jobs, which means we need a lot more housing, which means we need to build a lot more housing. Let's make sure we've got a library, we got a market, we got a bank. And some of these houses, I don't think. Oh, that's so, so much time to shift click. I cannot believe I didn't know that. Wow, that is uh, a little bit depressing, a little bit liberating <laughs> to know that that's a thing. So we'll have to keep that in mind for future playthroughs. All right, Garden Cypress, do your thing. Let's just. Uh, perfectify all of our space back here because we can't put any more houses here there's just not enough space so we just have a bunch of garden cypresses all ready to go we'll quick build all of these houses and uh let them do what they need to do increase our capacity and then of course we can go shopping for immigrant cards which we pretty much always will and wild cards, you know, we can always use those. But eventually it's going to get a little expensive. Fortunately, we have almost a million coins, so I'm not worried about running out of money. I will continue to shamelessly hoard the wild cards, though. We'll get some more people in here. Lather, rinse, repeat. Two for one. All right. So up to 300 should get us a little bit closer. We just got to make sure that everything is supplied appropriately. This is the very unglamorous part of playing this game, but I do try my best to make sure that I show you the authentic experience at the very least. And now this is, this is really starting to get expensive, but I did want to give them a little bit of a boost, a head start, if you will, on getting some of the stuff taken care of. We do have five out of five workers at the clay pits and three out of three at the potters, which we'll go ahead and boost as well. So for right now, those guys are probably fine. Uh, we're going to keep an eye on the clay supply and see if we need to upgrade anything else. But I think we're probably going to be fine based on how uh, production works. We've got 10, uh, I guess, units of clay making 14 units of pottery. We can obviously make those more efficient with the cards, books, whatever the game wants to call them. And it looks like, well, we're not going to know how fast they can produce it because they haven't done it yet. But they can, the clay pits can make 26 units per season. So hopefully that's not a bottleneck. We'll see. Right now we'll just kind of let them do their thing. And then these will eventually all have access to all of the pottery and get a little bit better as a result. Hopefully we can get past level three and uh, get into those tier two luxuries, which we can start importing if we haven't already started importing. Yeah, we've got a couple. But we really need to get a third tier two luxury. And I, for the life of me, do not remember what all the tier three luxuries are. Tier three, tier two. So let's take a look here at the fully upgraded house. Tier two luxury. Yeah, we're going to have to get probably glassware would be a good one to export. I actually don't see. I don't see any glassware. Are we really using that much of it? We might be. Well, we'll keep an eye on stuff and we'll see exactly uh, what's going on. I know we have coffee. We're making coffee over there. We could probably do some green tea. Would not be too hard. 
and then a couple other things. But now we finished researching our industrial technologies. They're fully upgraded. Mobile suits are next. That's going to take them a decent while to start researching those. But we want to get that done as soon as possible because we have to train units. And we have a couple of other units to recycle. I'm not going to do them quite yet. I don't know that we uh, want to have zero units, even as far ahead as we are. These AI have not been violent at all. But they are starting to actually uh, amass a little bit of a military. I think they've uh, become slightly fearful of what we've got going on. So we'll make sure we're giving them something to actually be fearful of here in a little bit. But I do want to make sure that we have housing for at least, I think, about 350 over here in the colony. Yeah, we need another 40 at least. So maybe 350 is not enough. Maybe we should go for 400. Because our market can support a pretty... Uh, Pretty robust increase in housing stock here. So if we move these guys down to about here and just rotate in that way. Okay, this one house is not gonna be in a range, so I'm not going to uh not gonna worry about that. 98 died of old age, wow. And we still increased. So market reaches, the bank doesn't reach, but it's never going to reach everything. Library doesn't reach everything. But the market does, and that is what matters. We'll let them just kind of build these naturally because they take uh, quite some time. And we also don't want to waste all the wood that's here. That's pretty valuable to be uh, cutting down all the time. So we'll just let that go there. I don't think there's anywhere else I can really put houses up here. I think we pretty much maxed that out which is uh, good, I suppose. Now up here in this area, we have our market pretty well cornered outside of right here. I wonder if I could maybe fit another couple houses. And then there's space for, I think, at least two more. Okay, well, they're going to cry about being next to the whatever this is, paper maker, but they can uh, deal with it. It'll be okay. Oh, I've got room over here. I can put in at least one so that's fine we'll let them build that naturally uh other auxiliary buildings that we've placed in we've got a bank which isn't going to matter until we get to level five but it should still get a pretty decent number of houses and other than that we don't have a school which i probably should have built oh no we do it's right there i was, I was literally staring at it okay not going to fit a house here that's uh unfortunate but that's that area, that's this area. There's not really that many other good places to put housing here without just dominating a whole bunch of space. So I think we're going to have to leave these guys like they are. But we are fully employed. We have a lot of laborers. So that is excellent to see. Looks like everything is going just fine. Now we do have coal. I can't remember if we're actually harvesting any coal. Uh, but we do have it. We can mine it. So if we have mines set up, which I actually don't think we do, why don't we go ahead and do that? Because then I can put a coal power plant in and we can actually upgrade some of these buildings with electricity, which I am extremely happy. It does not have to be wired. All right, so can I get this? I can. People are going to be upsetty spaghetti about it, but uh, they can get over it. That's real life. Sometimes you got to be next to a coal power plant. That's just the way these things go. I am going to quick build these so I can get them set up and not have to worry about it. Let's actually four times speed. Get these guys all done and dusted here. All right, so they're good to go. And bang, fully staffed, making a whole bunch of cl uh, clay, making a whole bunch of coal which hopefully means we can stop importing it. We can upgrade deep sea fishing port. I can't believe we didn't have that already set, already good to go. Just improve this stuff incrementally. I believe, yes, immigrants, come on in. Yes, please do give me either a sustainability book or productivity. Sustainability might be the way to go. Because that will just make it more efficient to use the resources we already have on hand. Although I don't really think that's going to be a problem right here. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, wow, these guys are much faster. I wonder why that is. Should be all about the same. Okay, it's going up. So we'll just hold on to the sustainability book for now. I should see our number of coal going up very slowly. So that's looking good. Let's find a good spot to put a coal power plant that no one's going to get upset that we've built anywhere. What is this building at? House? Okay, well, they're going to have to get over it. Uh, iron smelter. Oh, yeah, let's upgrade. They're, okay, they're planting trees here. We don't want to mess with that. So it just needs to be somewhere. There we go. House going up to level 5, looks like. Yep, and they are waiting on three types of tier 2 luxuries. They currently only have coffee. Okay. That's, that's something we're going to have to work on. Well, theoretically, we don't have to work on it, but, you know, it is nice to have something that is actually serviceable. So where can I put this coal power plant that isn't going to completely devastate the environment? I don't think it actually will anyway, but it is uh, something to think about regardless. I think this probably is fine right here. We'll quick build because we have a ton of money. A-OK. -okay. So now, as soon as that starts producing actual power from the coal, we'll be able to upgrade the rest of these industrial things. We'll see exactly what we want to upgrade. I think for right now, oh, I did build houses right in the middle of the uh, forestry area, but that's okay. Mushroom farms we didn't upgrade. Probably should do that. Immigration office can upgrade. Furniture workshop, those should have already been upgraded. We're actually making a pretty good amount of furniture here, so we need to be focusing on some of this other stuff. Now, pottery is actually working pretty well. These are upgrading. Yeah, rather quickly now, actually, once we get into it. Level 3, level 4, level 5, but we're not going to get to level 6 because we don't have three different types of tier 2 luxuries. And I don't really know that we can make any others. Bonsai is very, very slow. Or bonsai, I should say. Um... Wine we're not going to be able to do because we're not growing grapes. I'm not going to use an entire province worth of farmland just to grow grapes. Although that is something we could do here. We have the ability, uh, but I don't know if I really want to... Uh, yeah, I don't know if I want to sacrifice because there's really nothing I can grow up here. Oh, I got a uh, achievement. I forgot they just put those in. A million coins live in the high life. Yep, that's us. We're... Uh, we're certainly living the high life over here with our uh, herbal supplements, I guess we should say. What in the world is that? Okay, that is dye. That's what that plant is. It's like, what in the world is that? Now, how's our stats looking on employment? We're still 100 short. Man. All right. Uh, mobile suits have been researched. Now, uh, we can do battleships, which might actually prove useful. But let's take a look at the tech tree, a victory score. Economic theory, social science, and then this palace here, which uh, is going to take a lot of science points. I think for right now, probably want to just save these up for a little bit and then decide what we're going to do later. We have plenty of other stuff to take care of, so don't worry about that. Specifically, we need to find somewhere else to build a whole bunch of houses. And I think since these guys are already at level 8, some of them, we probably just want to keep building around this area and uh, take advantage of what we can. So to that end, we'll go ahead and get that rolling here. Let's see just how far out we can go. Yeah, I can do another... Uh... I think these two... Yeah, they're both in range. That is excellent news. Look at these guys right here. Now, the desirability is not as high as it probably should be in this area, but they'll get over it. They'll move in eventually anyway. And that is A-OK. -okay. Oh, that's not going to fit there, is it? Okay. Now, these should all still be in range, and they are. We've got a hauling service right there. I think it could fit one more house next to it. Yes. 
Oh no, I was wrong. All right, well, that's a shame. We'll put that house there. See if we can find one more thing to stick here. I'm not sure. We've got a school, we've got a luxury importer. Can I fit a bank or do we already have a bank? Let's find out. Go in here to find ourselves a bank. Oh, look at that. Clutch. Absolutely clutch. And that's going to get a lot of money here once we start building all the rest of that in. And we can put a couple more houses on the other side down here. I believe all three of those should be in range, and they are. I think I can get one more to the left. And yep, that's in range, but I think that's going to be it as far as down here is concerned. And all these houses have to get built, but I'm going to quick build them because I don't really think we have enough wood to do that anyway. We don't need to be eating it all up building housing stock when we could use it for production. There's probably a hotkey for this that I should know, but I don't, so we're not going to worry about it. And how much is the bank? Okay, that's a quick one. All right, so that's all good to go. Let's uh, upgrade stone insulation and brick hearth. I love this shift click. It has saved me so much time. So we'll let these guys do what they need to do. Our capacity is now up to 946-ish, and that will continue to go up as the houses upgrade. So that's all very exciting stuff. And we should be able to supply these guys with luxury. We'll see what happens. We've got some time to uh, to mess with things. And see exactly what ends up happening. Now it's time to go shopping for immigrants. Probably not something that you could get away with saying in many contexts outside of this game. But uh, we'll just go ahead and move on. Just get a whole bunch of these guys in here. Not worried about wild cards, we already have plenty of those. So we're just going to quickly scan and get as many of these cards as we can without spending the next 20 minutes doing this. Not getting too many of those. There, okay, there's another one. I wonder if there's some sort of mechanism to uh, decrease the amount of times it shows you a certain card. Oh, I flipped past one. That's what happens when you're going too fast. But it doesn't seem like it. It seems like it's still pretty evenly showing us at different things. There's one right there. We're going to fire these all off pretty much at once. I'm sure some sort of horrible uh, food or economic crash is going to plague us at some point very, very soon, but that at the very least will make for interesting gameplay. So I think we'll be fine. We should have enough food. Let's get 10 of these and just... Uh, Bring all these guys in. All right, so now we're up to 899, which means we should. Wow, we're still a hundred behind in terms of employment. That just cannot possibly be true. That's so insane. 151 died of old age. Wow. Look at all these. Look at all these low laid houses. This is nuts. There's still a couple that haven't upgraded yet. These guys are starting to, they're starting to get filled up and very quickly moving up through the ranks. Uh, luxury supply is still looking okay. Uh, tier one luxuries could probably stand to be a little bit better. Uh, unfortunately, there's no way to really uh, fix the whole cannabis thing short of just, you know, planting more. So I guess that's what we're going to need to do early spring. We'll go ahead and just pause real quick to get these guys planting a little more. Here we go, 64. See if I can get yeah, another 64 there. Uh, we're not going to need this path, but I will leave a little bit of space. Oh, 65. Okay. We'll come back over to that and see if we can make some other uh, some other thing work here. Uh, Stone-wise, do we have a lot of stone. Wow, we have 10,000 clay. Uh, we need to be making more pottery. So that, um, where's our potters? My god, there's so many houses here. Okay, these guys, man, they're just not working fast enough. Let's increase efficiency of those guys. Just turbocharge all those guys. We only have two potters. So let's build some more. Uh, 
probably not going to be able to fit any more over here, but we just have so much extra clay, and pottery is such an easy thing to make. One of those uh, easy, low-level luxuries we should have absolutely no problem supplying. There we go. Yeah, so right here obviously is probably the best place, but we don't have any room, and I don't want to get rid of these trees. So let's see, find ourselves another spot maybe kind of a little close. This actually isn't a terrible place right here, it doesn't seem. So let's put... Let's just go ahead and put two of them up here. Quick build. We'll uh, max upgrade them and let people start making a whole bunch of pots. That is so nice to have that done that fast. Amazing. Cool. So we should see a lot more pottery come out very, very quickly. And maybe our supply of clay will go down a little bit. We'll see what happens. And what other luxuries can we bolster here? The bonsai, I just, it's so slow for these bonsai guys here. I guess we could upgrade their machinery, their pruning shears. Um, yeah. Immigrants, come on in. Give me a passion card. So this guy's got a passion card. This guy's got a passion card. These two don't have anything. Passion is a plus 15% productivity. So that's an easy, easy thing to stick in the bonsai nurseries. We'll upgrade all of their uh, budget. So maybe they'll start popping out some more trees. And we'll see what else happens. Uh, there's no point in putting sustainability book in these things because they don't consume materials. They just, I guess, make these things out of thin air, which is amazing. The te technological advances here are just something else. Now, tier 3 luxuries I think are probably all completely fine because they're pretty much broken production-wise anyway. Fashionable clothing maybe is one thing that could uh, conceivably get a little bit better. But uh, I don't actually remember. Oh, I forgot I'd upgraded these so hard on the, on the uh, machinery. I don't actually remember where I have a uh, tailor. I probably should. These are all potters, of course. Granaries, trading companies, scholar's office. Ah, yes, they're making sustainability books. That's one of those things. They're working on it. Where in the world did I put my tailors? Please, if, if you are watching these videos, and you make this game, give me an option to search for buildings. Just please <laughs> make this so much easier. But I do not know where my tailors are, so I think we're just going to kind of uh, have to move on. Yeah, see, this is why we're making a bunch of pottery, because sometimes we'll have these houses auto downgrade because they can't have access to it. We really, really want to make sure that that's all working correctly. Uh, furniture workshops actually could probably use some sustainability books. Those two are fully maxed. Three are fully maxed. Four? All right, we can put a sustainability book here in this furniture workshop. Because we uh, we don't have an infinite supply of wood. But man, these uh, <laughs> we got a lot of furniture being made here. Which means we honestly don't need to have all of these. But what am I going to do? Get rid of it? No. I'm not going to get rid of production. That's a. Uh, we're still a hundred employees short. I cannot believe this. That is just insanity. Levels of a. Uh, underemployment here. Now the one thing that is kind of concerning with the uh, amount of growth that we've had is our food supply isn't uh, isn't really keeping up quite as well as I had originally hoped it would. So I think, uh, I don't know what else that we can really, uh, what we can really do here. I guess we could upgrade our sushi bars to have electric machinery. That's probably a, a smart idea. They've got a sustainability book and a frugality book. This one doesn't have anything. Sake brewery using rice should be using less rice, but the sustainability book is already in there, so that's fine. 
guess we can uh, prove that. Um, now, if we had oranges and plums, we could change the recipe so they're not using as much rice, but I don't think it's really that big of a deal. It also could just be because we haven't harvested everything for this year yet. And the fact that we're only down to a little under a thousand at this point in early autumn is probably actually a good thing. So I expect that number to continue going up. But man, I just cannot believe that we're still 100 employees short of all of this stuff. I think these houses should just about cover it if we can keep them stocked with the uh, requisite luxuries. Which seem to be doing pretty well now in the fall, now that we're harvesting a bunch of these plants. And now that we've bolstered the pottery production, it should be pretty much good to go for the rest of the game. It's the Tier 2 stuff that might get a little dicey. Tier 3 is completely fine, probably for now and eternity. So I think we just have to let these guys uh, keep on making more citizens and uh, just leave that be as it is. Alright, so we have 187,000, 188,000, almost 189,000 science here. We've got some research we can do. Not in the tech tree, because those all take 300,000, but upgrades. We can do battleships, which we need for our military conquest. And then we can either do the Golden Palace or the Garden. Now, I think we'll do Golden Palace. Because that is one of those things that we can uh, easily go ahead and get started here. We'll buy the card. And uh, let's see, is there somewhere else we can just stick this? Wow, that is a big building. Is this going to fit? Actually, let's check and see what this does. First Golden Palace grants 385 victory score plus 20% money from luxury consumption. Oh, boy. Okay. That, my friends, is broken. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's get that in with a great haste. I will not be quick building this because it is absurdly expensive. But that'll be nice to have done. World Trade Office, the same kind of deal. We're just waiting on materials. And that is what it is. Now, in terms of our glass production, these guys, sand mine, glass smelter, glass works, can all probably work a little bit harder. I think sand-wise, we probably have more than enough, so I didn't really need to upgrade those guys. But we have... Yeah, we don't have enough glass which we probably need to just build another glass smelter and uh, get it over with. Might actually be a smart thing with how much other stuff we've got going on. So let's see. Is there anywhere over here I can build something like this? I don't think so. We've had everything just so tightly, uh, tightly packed in here. And all of this is just completely unable to be developed. So I think we're going to have to move on down here. See if I can uh, put in two more of those guys, quick build them. See what happens. Okay, now I don't have enough bricks to do all the upgrades I wanted to. But we will go ahead. I know I'm just adding more jobs to then complain about not having enough people to do the jobs. But having this running even at a slightly lower capacity is going to be great for getting us more glass, which is, of course is required for upgrading buildings and making glassware, which is one of our luxuries that we don't have a ton of for Tier 2. would be nice to bolster that a little bit, which means, of course, we probably should build a glassworks, which we can. We have the technology. So we'll uh, stick this guy right across the way here. Uh, we probably also should be Growing more tulips. I probably should have put this guy across the way. But I don't think we're going to be that worried about it. Alright, so this is 58 workers. That'll be fine. Uh, I need to have this be uh, tulips. There we go. I'm just going to plant another, uh, another couple of fields here. There we go. It's already set to tulips. So we'll kind of uh, do a little bit more farming here. 57 will be good enough for tulips. 
And then that is just about going to wrap up our ability to make tulips and adjacent things here. Almost. We're very, very close. I'm just going to get this last bit. 54, I think. 58 is as many as we're going to get. That is A-OK. -okay. Now we're maxed out on tulips. That should give us a little bit more wiggle room. Yeah, so we're already... Why are we... Uh... Oh, that's cool. Production yearly 181, consumption yearly 718. Why are... These shouldn't all be red, though. Oh, well. That's fine. So we don't have enough electricity. Is that uh, is that what they're insinuating here? Let's come up here to our electrical generating nasty part of town. Okay, we're pretty much right at the limit. We've got an industrial iron smelter. We've got a steelworks. We've got coal power plants. And we have oil power plants up here. Depleted. Depleted ores. Uh-oh. No, we can't have that. We have... Uh, Oh, we're, up, we're almost out of oil. All right, well, there in this game at least, there are no problems that money cannot solve. So let's buy a uh, replenish mine card. And another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. Got five of those. Uh, let's give us a passion book. Uh, we have... Oh, okay, we only have four, so let's... Uh, there we go. So that should buy us a little bit of time to see what kind of uh, oil we have. 4,000. All right. So we'll keep these in reserve for when we uh, when we actually need them. Uh, passion books. Let's see. What was one of those things we were going to try and bolster here? Um... I think it might have been the bonsai. So let's come back down here. All the way down here. This guy has a passion book. This guy has a passion book. This guy does not. And now he does. So maybe they can make some more happy little trees. And we'll work on improving everything else. But these guys are continuing to go to town on the upgrades. As uh, slow as it might be. And yeah, now we're, uh, now we're running into problems with electricity which these guys cannot be running because, oh, there's no workers. No workers in the oil power plant. Well, we uh, could have seen that one coming. So sounds like it's time for another immigrant shopping spree. We could also just, you know, kidnap people, but that's a little too dystopian for my taste. All right, come on, big money. Give me a whole bunch of these immigrant cards. I think we're going to go in and see if we can upgrade our immigration office or build a second one or something, because we've really got to get some more bodies in here and staff these things. Kind of ironic playing as Japan and endorsing immigration. But, you know, you do, you do things. Oh, I clicked off of one that had two. This is why you don't have jumpy fingers, friends. All right, come on. Spending too much money doing this. We got to get some more people in here. Because we're really, really behind. Let's get one more and then we'll uh, bring everybody in. There'll be another 40. There we go. All right, so now we're up to 938, which should mean that we'll be. <laughs> we're still over 100 behind. I can't believe it. Oh my god. Alright, um, can I, like, export some of these guys? Yeah, let's, um, let's do that. Let's receive some immigrants from the colony here. Let's, um, start with a cool 100. See if that helps. Yeah, now they only have nine laborers. Okay, boohoo. Okay, why are you... Oh, we overcompensated. <laughs> we overcompensated like we, uh, Oh, uh, like we uh, knew what we were doing here. Let's uh, fix this really fast here. Okay, I can get a couple more on the north side of all of this stuff. And I think those four is going to be just about it. Yep. So we'll quick build. 
get these guys in here. And then I think it's going to be finally time to start doing some more military stuff. All right, so there we go. Capacity is the whole, the whole three or more than our current population. All right, bricks. We need to be making a lot, a lot more bricks. And our brickworks, I believe, uh, potters here. Brickworks were over here. Oh, there's our tailor. Yeah, let's uh, super increase what these guys have going on. I don't think we have any other cards we can really use. Food reserve is low, huh? Ooh, it kind of is. All right, well, let's uh, let's pause here. It's late summer. We're going to be having a rice harvest soon, but we're going to need to import some sort of food here. So I guess... Oh, we still only have a 480 capacity. Wow, that is uh, rough. Now, what is a cheap food? Not that I really need to be worrying about money with how much we have going on here. Um, yeah, let's, let's just buy a bunch of beef. And check out our auto trade, what we got going on. As far as import goes, target inventory is a thousand. Okay, so we are actually, uh, we are actually importing food. It just probably needs to be a little bit more, which of course means we have to build more of those, uh, trading companies. So let's raise our target import for, uh, some food stuff, I guess. Uh, milk counts as a food. Yeah, let's just let's just raise that. Fifteen hundred potato, fifteen hundred papaya. Let's add an auto import for, uh, say, beef. Up to a thousand. I mean, we have cows, but we really do not want to take any chances here with how uh, crazy stuff is uh, going here. Grape. Now, if we have an adequate supply of grapes, we can make wine, which is another one of those luxuries that we could easily be uh, utilizing to our advantage, probably in the colony. But we can make it all here in the mainland, and then we can export it down there. So if we just tick all of our max trade amounts up, and then build a bunch of these trading companies, then we can just turbocharge capitalism here and use it to our advantage and I think we'll be good I'm actually going to make the max trade amount equal to the uh, target inventory just so we can super replenish super fast and I think that's going to be good we're still going to be profiting off of all this um all right looking good uh tulip target inventory I think I'm going to raise target inventory on all these exports except pocket watches Seems to be fine. Oil uh, definitely needs to be higher target inventory before we export books. Um, we can probably... Well, okay, it's, well, it's already fine like that. We should not be exporting oil, I don't think. It's not expensive enough to really be worth it. So let's just take that off the exports entirely and instead add it to imports. Let's make sure target inventory stays about a 1,000. That way, in case it ever goes down, we'll be able to at least get a little bit coming back in. And that's going to tip our profit down. But when we add capacity with our trading companies, it should go right the way back up, which we'll go ahead and do right now by scrolling to the wrong side of the list for T. I promise I went to school. All right, trading companies. Let's find some desolate, abandoned, worthless land and build on it. Uh, probably, uh, a lot of this stuff down here. I don't think it needs to be in the range of houses. But we'll, uh, oh, I can't build there. Okay. Well, that's fine. So I'm going to build six. Let's build, let's build eight of these. Quick build them. I'm not in pausing because I want to make sure that the next round takes advantage of all of these. So we'll quick build them, unpause, repause, upgrade all of them, don't have enough glass, marking all the subsidiaries. And that's why we built the other glassworks. 
and all of that stuff down here because they did not have the capacity. And we just need, oh, we need so much more stuff. It's not even funny. But now our, uh, okay. Why is this? Oh, oh, I didn't want to do that. So this is now, <laughs> oh, come on. I, I shift clicked and it betrayed me. I wanted this, I wanted this one to be the uh, master. So what we'll do is we'll just rebuild it. And uh, not do that again. We'll mark this one over here as a subsidiary and upgrade. And upgrade 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 and upgrade. And we still don't have enough uh, concrete, but we're working on it. We're getting there. We are certainly getting there. Although now I have to wonder about our uh, concrete production. I think, uh, oh, we've been selling some. We shouldn't be selling any. Unless we have enough to actually, you know, do anything with. How are we doing here? All right, we're only down 43. Only down 43 employees, which means we need to have... Look at this, we have so much dye, we should be selling some of this. Dye and sand. Our capacity here is looking good. Okay, export concrete if we have more than 1,000. Okay, that's fine. Let's export dye. It's not worth a lot, but if we make our target inventory, say, 5,000, I probably could just type it instead of clicking this the whole time, but hey, you know how this goes. Yeah, let's, um, let's do that. And then sand, I hate to just export sand, but we have so much of it, and we are producing way more than we can use, so we might as well export some of it. I'm not going to export nearly as much, though. Keep our target inventory at 5,000. And I'll make the trade amount per round 1,000. We'll see how that goes. We're still staying to make a ton of profit here. So that's all looking good. We can keep bringing in some more people. Uh, and we really need to build more housing or get these guys to upgrade. They're still kind of lagging behind a little bit. People idolize you as God. Really? Okay, I don't know about that one. But we are at 96% happiness, and the really only complaint is entertainment, which we haven't really been addressing. Uh, we could do, could put some taverns in. That is uh, always an option. I wish I could build in some more places. That would be nice. If I put this here, that's going to help these guys out a lot, tavern-wise. So that should improve the entertainment score at least a little bit. Oh yeah, look at look at this. We got plenty of space down here. Okay, tavern card. Where can I stick one of these guys? Um okay. I do have the road here. This would probably hit a decent number of houses, but not as many as I want. I don't have room here, unfortunately. Uh this Actually, this right here seems to be about our best bet. So we'll pop that up right there, and that should really increase all of our entertainment value here. Houses are upgrading. Fantastic to see that. Uh, Brick-wise, do we still need more bricks? Well, we upgraded the hearth fireplaces anyway. All right, so that's good to see. Uh, population is going down down. I think a whole lot of people are dying, which happens. Uh, hauling services. Okay, now we're downgrading. Are we running out of luxuries? Uh, yes, these tier 2 luxuries again. The uh, glassware has been improving, which is good. But I think we're still a little bit behind on the pottery, which seems insane to me. Uh, steelworks. We're not using enough steel because we haven't been building our Gundams, which we need to go ahead and get on because they take steel. Let's build a bunch of mobile suits. Uh, 12? Is that enough? No, let's build... Um, oh, I can only build 19. 
Thank you for your 100 gold. We will wipe the floor with you momentarily. Um, let's get rid of our, uh, shall we say, legacy units. We won't need them. Catapults. 177 died of old age. Wow. Musketeers can go bye-bye. It's going to be a little sad to say goodbye to our samurai, but having the mobile suits is going to be worth it. So we'll uh, get these guys on out of here. Bon voyage. Now we got mobile suits coming in. We have standing army cards. We can't really do anything else with what you, abandoned civilization. Nah, why is that even a... Oh, I can mess with taxation. I forgot about that. Hmm, well, we're making a lot of money. I wonder what lowering taxes would do. Let's find out. We're making a ton of money. We don't really need this much. At least not right now. Okay, we have grapes. I know I keep saying, oh, we need more people to be working. We can't add more jobs, but we have plenty. Plenty of uh, more people coming in. I need to make some wine. Let's get a wild card. Let's get another wild card while we're already here. Okay. Is there going to be some weird name for this that I'm not going not gonna to remember? Because it's not winery. Uh, green tea breeder? No. I feel like I should know this. Uh, let's just type in nothing for wine, huh? Is that something I have to research? I feel like that shouldn't be a thing. Passion. Very good. We'll put that in the bonsai tree here. Uh, we already have... Oh, they all already have passion. All right. Um, if I put two cards, is that going to increase our production? Uh, barely, but that still counts. So why can I not make wine? If I have grape breeders... That's just farming. What in the world is the name of the building that makes wine? Why can I not figure this out? We're just going to have to go through all of these, aren't we? Well, it's not a school. Definitely not. Sake is not the same thing. Plum breeder? No, no. That's not the medicine maker. Um. Yeah, I just don't see it. There's clearly something I'm missing, because I do remember building that before. Fishing lodge, foreign port, foreign... We haven't even messed with the foreign ports and foreign quarters that much, really. Uh, yeah, I just do not see it for whatever reason. Maybe it's something that the Japanese faction just can't do. I don't really know why, but... Oh, see, so these guys have uh, built themselves up a little bit. Uh, okay, we haven't... Uh, we haven't diplomacied. Okay. All right. Yep, we are family. Very good. Diplomacy. Uh, we can't frozen alliance to 100 relationship. I don't think it's going to let me unless I gift. Let's give him uh, let's give him a cool thousand. See what that does. Such splendid gift. Thank you. And now it's decaying. Was it actually uh was it actually fifty? Let's see what happens. Yep, it is fifty. Okay. Um what else? Uh oh I can give him resources. What do I have a lot of that I can just dump? Hmm. You want some chairs? We got furniture. Let's give you a uh a bunch of furniture. Say uh, a thousand. All right. So what's it looking like now? Oh yeah, look at that go. Let's go. Let me get that. Uh, let me get that wild card. Yeah, and a four and quarter card. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Put that thing in there. How many times can I upgrade this? Oh, I know I will get some money back. I 
I did not know it would let me go that far. That is uh, just a tit bit much. Now, where's my foreign port card? All right, where can I stick this guy? It's going to be uh, probably a little irritating to uh, build this. But we'll see here. All right, so that's just pretty sure money income. Can't build uh, intercity road next to that. I guess it probably doesn't matter. All right, so that guy's gone. Good to go. All right, I think we already have... Yeah, that's our foreign quarter we haven't upgraded. All right, so that's something. We're spending a considerable amount of money, of money here. But I believe we'll end up working out quite nicely. Now, foreign port, this guy's province. I think we tried... No, do we already have that? Really? Okay, well, never mind then. We'll come over, over here to these guys. Yeah, we hadn't done any of this stuff over here. Because I don't think we had any uh, any other stuff going on. Okay, are we going to give these guys some more chairs too? Furniture. Let's give them a thousand. Actually, 500 is probably enough. This gift warms my heart. Yeah, you can also burn the chairs and that'll warm your heart too. Um, yep, we have enough. All right, give me my foreign quarter. Let me just build this somewhere. Try and find a place for it that doesn't suck. Um, yeah, there we go. That's fine. Let's see what I can get away with here. Upgrading this. We're not completely out of money. All right, that's probably about as good as we're going to get. We do have 14 mobile suits now, which is very exciting. We'll have to take them for a test drive very, very soon. But right now, I think we can leave well enough alone. We've uh, successfully foreign quartered everybody. Did we put a... We did not put a... Uh, what do you call it here? A foreign port. So let's grab ourselves another wild card. And uh, get ourselves immigrants. Foreign port. It's only 640 coins easy to, uh, well, I guess maybe not that easy to place in here. We'll just stick that guy right there. Good to go. He'll make us a little bit of extra money and then also uh, allows us to have trade routes, I believe. There we go. Looking good. Not that that really matters that much because of how much money we're making. But I think yeah, should should make it pretty easy. I'm not going to bother uh, connecting trade routes with these minor cities because we're about to just completely steamroll them. Oh, hello. Uh, let's uh, let's conquer you here. Oh, I'm sorry. We don't have our 20 mobile suits yet. We'll have to come back. Allow us to build up our military to its fullest strength possible before we grind you into the, da uh, into the dust here. All right, so that'll make it an even 20. Once all of these guys are done, good to go. Uh, battleships. It's just more steel. Okay. Yeah, we can make some battleships. Two should be fine. That's all 66 military slots. And uh, pretty soon we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be having some fun here. Now, in terms of everything, look at all these houses. These are upgrading nicely. We do still have about a hundred extra capacity. Uh, pottery still hasn't really taken off in terms of. Uh, an increase that I can see, at least in the uh, reserve supply, which probably means it's adequate, I guess, at this point. Tier 2 luxuries still kind of lagging behind. Tier 3 luxuries, absolutely mind-blowing amounts of uh, production there. Probably should be selling more of those if we're going to be honest with each other. Uh, pocket watches, probably not making quite enough. Are we uh, running out of electricity? It looks like we are. Are we out of... Yep, okay. Well, now it's time to replenish oil. Can I... Uh, is that going to tell me... Oh, okay. Well, I can just do all that right now. There we go. So now 16,000 oil. I wonder if I could just completely stack this and get like 100,000. I don't know. We kind of spent all of our money upgrading our foreign quarters. 
we might not see a lot of that money back, but hey, if it works, it works. We have our 20 mobile suits. Uh, we should be making our uh, battleships. Looks like those are still in the queue. Those are just about done. Uh, Trade-wise, yeah, let's upgrade that. Yep, stuff is uh, looking pretty good for auto trading. Got one battleship. We'll have two in just a second. I don't think it limits the amount of units you can attack with, which is uh, objectively kind of hilarious. So we're gonna we're gonna end up attacking these minor cities with a, an entire navy and a whole fleet of Gundams. So you know, normal stuff. Typical. Wednesday morning fun. Well, when you guys are watching this, it's Wednesday morning currently. Well, I guess it's also Wednesday morning because it's past midnight right here. But I digress. We've got our uh, got our battleships, got our mobile suits. It is time to, uh, as they say, do a little bit of uh, fighting here. Yeah, so uh, 17 guys with pitchforks versus 20 Gundams and two battleships should be a pretty decisive victory. Yep, and there we go. Uh, I don't think I want to raise these cities. We'll just uh, we'll just conquer them, and uh, that'll be that. Now we should have a card. Yes, passion, productivity. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and get another one of those. Um, can I? I can't do passion at a power plant, which is a shame, because I feel like some of these guys could definitely use some passion in their lives. Why is my Taylor coming all the way off the side of the map here. Okay, dyed cotton. Is that because we don't have dye cotton mill? Um, they shouldn't really be having a problem, but we'll go ahead and put this passion thing in there. And that might help our cause here. Could, uh, could possibly be something that was going on. All right, so we did these guys. And I guess what we probably should do is conquer this western half to the left of everything we've got and then move to the right side of the map just so we can have some sort of a semblance of uh, what's going on here. Probably just uh, can't connect it trader up. So let's conquer. Oh, never mind. I can't send a battleship to an inland battle. Should have known that. Except, uh, is this too far for uh, shore bombardment? Yeah, probably. All right, Gundams, look at look at them go. These guys are like unbeatable. All right, cool. So that's gonna make us some money. These guys are next. Hmm, thought that might have been close enough because we do have the sea. Well, I guess this isn't technically the sea. But man, these guys are just so overpowered. I don't think it's gonna work quite so well when we get over to the uh, the AI players. But we will certainly do our best. All right, you know the drill. 20 Gundams go in, 27 farmers come out. And then after a brief negotiation, zero farmers will remain. And we can move on. All right, now food reserves are low. Why is that the case? Uh, they're not low here. Is it our, uh, our colony here? Okay, the colony is kind of low. Oh, full storage, huh? What, are, what in the world are we storing? That's honestly probably what the problem is. All right, we'll quick build some more warehouses. And just uh, let these guys do what they got to do. And then we'll go back to our conquering. Looks like I can get one more up here. That ought to hold them for a while. Okay, so we got these guys. Got a nice start. We'll come get the... Uh, no, we'll just get these. Uh, I'll get this one and we'll go grab those when we do the rest of our stuff. But these guys bring the battleships back in. So come on down. And that was easy. All good to go there. Okay, so we got three guys up here. We'll go in a counterclockwise order. Yeah. 
Whoop. Kind of sounds like the Homer Simpson woohoo sound, doesn't it? So we've learned a few lessons here. First off, if you have four times as many <laughs> residents as anybody else in the game, you're probably going to be completely overpowered. And secondly, we definitely... Oh, that's not going to save you. That is not going to save you. Send me your 100 coins. Um, we definitely need to play on a much harder difficulty next time around. We are going to keep playing this game. It's a lot of fun. Really, really enjoying it. Even as uh, absurdly broken as we've been this playthrough. It has been quite enjoyable. All right, so we're going to work our way kind of around here. And then... Uh, take care of all the minor cities, and then we'll grab the AI players last on our way out. You know, just casual, like a shopping trip. And there's those guys done. We'll grab these guys later, like I was saying. Okay, we could do a resource outpost for uh, some of this oil. We should uh, maybe do that in a little bit. Now, we don't have any on there. We've got a lot on this island, so let's start here in the north and work our way down. Very, very easy, quick work. Now, I'm going to have to look and see if this is actually uh, modeled after a real battleship. I know uh, Japan had some pretty formidable ones in World War II, but I don't know enough about them to tell if that is one of them. I imagine it's... Ah, uh, land battle, of course. Um, I would imagine it's probably just a generic asset that works with the other factions as well. I don't remember. But that would be a, a neat little bit of trivia. And they're done. So we have those taken care of. Next one up. We can bring the battleships back for this one. All right. So we have one, two, just two left. Okay. We are uh, we are tearing through this. I nope, thought it was worth a shot. At least I don't know if they could. Uh, Airdrop the battleship into this lake here. And that's done. You know, I was thinking I was going to have to time lapse this, but this is going so fast, I don't think it's going to matter. Yeah, see, we're, we're barely over an hour, eight minutes right now. And uh, we don't have that much more left to do. Oh, we can connect a trader out to these uh, seaborne ones, which we probably should have been doing this whole time. So let's just take a second to... Uh, uh, I don't have trading ports. Never mind. We'll just leave those alone. Okay, there's nobody else over here, right? These are all marked for us with our little pink uh, whatever symbol this is. Is that a uh, Sakura Blossom? I don't know. I think this means we're finished over here on the west side of the map. And we'll make our way east. Uh, but first, let's make a brief pit stop back in here. Check and see how our uh, supply of housing is looking. We have 132 level 8 houses. That is that's something else. So these are looking okay. Hey, our world trade office is uh, progressing uh, pretty quickly. That's looking good. I, I do want to make sure that we can't uh, win the game before I defeat everybody. I know what a uh, what a problematic viewpoint, I guess. But we'll be fine. These guys are good to go. This is uh, our gold supply. All right. You know the drill. Battleships and mobile suits. Wow, three whole turns. This might be the longest one we've had yet. All right, so they're done. Yep, can't do trade routes, just like I thought. Yeah, there's a few more over here. 
so we'll get these guys going here. Should be quick work. You're 54. All right. Getting there, getting there. Uh, oh, we're enemies, huh? Negative 20 is probably because we've been a... Uh, is it going to let me do diplomacy with them? No, it just says negative 20. It's probably because we're killing all their neighbors. Just a wild guess. All right, so we have a low food warning once again. Um, let's adjust our import of food. If I can figure, yeah, okay, let's um, let's increase that to 1,200, see if that helps. All right, so these guys are good to go. Up next, send in the Gundams. Should be three rounds and done. We haven't lost a single one yet. I'm actually kind of worried that the uh, AI battles are going to be kind of anticlimactic. Oh well. Not the worst problem to have when playing a game. Unless you want to be challenged. Well, in which case it was my fault for playing on the default difficulty. Alright, yeah, come on in. Bring in that, uh... I guess we could go for a passion book. We'll use that in a, uh... A little bit. I wonder if I have any extra military slots. Uh, yes, I can bring in another battleship. So let's uh, train up another one of those. All right, so these guys are all done. Uh, okay, and no more minor cities here. Got an AI player with another AI player. We got these two minor cities down here, which we will hit with our dudes here. Should be quick work. All right, that's all done. These guys up next. I don't think I can get battleships in here. Yep. We'll send them in soon, though. All right, we're up to 98 happiness. Get that entertainment uh, value up, and we could maybe get to 100. We'll see. So those guys are done. There's a couple more up here, and then I believe that's it. Then we're going to take care of a couple more things, then conquer all of these guys, or vassalize them, I assume. I don't think we can do anything else besides that anyway. And then uh, we'll wrap it on up. There's not really too much more to do outside of... Uh, Oh, I thought I might have been able to get those in there. Not too much more to do besides building all the unique buildings. So we'll see what happens with that. I might end up speeding that part of the game up since there's not really going to be too much else we can do. But aside from that, we are, we're just absolutely tearing through everything here. Alright, so we got two guys up here. We got one here. Nobody else in this whole area, huh? Alright. You know the drill. Mobile suits go in, vassalization comes out. And done. So, I keep thinking there's going to be another one here, but there isn't. Alright, now we can bring our, uh, our navy back in for this guy. Now, the AI players are probably going to be significantly harder because they're going to have actual walls on their city. But I think we're just about finished here. Okay, we have people leaving because they're homeless. That's something we got to take care of immediately just as soon as we vassalize these guys. Oh, there's one left, really? All right, so that's all done. Let's um, go down to single speed and come on back to here. 999 in this town, huh? Uh, 
Oh, it's in the colony. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's import. Import like it's goods. 100 adults. And now they're going to complain about being homeless. But we have a secret sauce for that. And that is uh, more housing. Unfortunately, we don't have any density here. That is something I do wish was a thing we could do in this game. But uh, it is what it is. All right, Stone Road, come on down. We got a lot of people in this thing. I think we we need to really take a second to appreciate just the absurd scale of everything we have going on here. I think these are all still in range. They sure are. Quick build them. No, not favorite that. Get out of here. And another. Decent bit of housing. Let's da -da, da -da, upgrade all those. Look at all our resources. Man, is this, that's a lot. Okay, food is low here. So let's import. Let's raise it up to 2,000. See what happens here. Uh, I don't know what else we can really even do here outside of just upgrade these houses. We do have a couple at level 8. Rest at level 5. Waiting for that third tier 2 luxury to upgrade another tier. Which uh, unfortunately is being very, very slow. And I don't know what else to do with that. So we're just going to kind of uh, ignore that that's a problem and move on. I can put a couple more houses here. We're just we're just running out of spaces to put people, honestly. It's kind of a kind of an issue. All right, so that's all good. We just have a uh, a mighty need for some additional capacity. I really don't want to build another housing complex here. I wish I could just put some more in other locations. But these are pretty much all built out with the exception of maybe a couple of spots here. I might be able to get away with that one. But, you know, eventually it will end up being fine if it's not in the uh, area for a market. World Trade Office is almost done. They have not started on the Golden Palace yet, and we still can't afford to quick build it, so that's going to get left alone. I think this is realistically about as big of a population as we're going to be able to manage. Unless I can put one more house here that's going to be in our, uh, our range. I, oh, it is. Okay, cool. Yeah, so once those upgrade, we might get another 10 or 15 slots. But I think for all intents and purposes, these guys are uh, finito. Now we have a ton of points here. Let's unlock gardens. Uh, we started building the Golden Palace. Uh, we have not researched Himeji Palace. Probably pronounced that completely incorrectly, but we've researched that. Uh, social science, don't really care about those. Plus 20% house income, though. Let's do that one real quick. And then uh, we'll research social science. Next one will be victory score. And I think once we have all of our palaces built, uh, that's going to be curtains for this playthrough. We are absolutely tearing through all of our stuff here. Let's claim that province. See if we can put our, uh, our palace right about here. We'll leave enough room for more houses if we feel like it. But it's going to take quite a while to get this built. So let's turn on our turbo speed here. And uh, let it do what it wants to do. So we've conquered everything except the AI players, which we'll get to in just a second. But we need to make sure that we are actually... Uh, output inventory is full of the oil. Really? How much oil do we have? 8,600. Okay, looking looking good. Uh, we could probably use another oil power plant, actually. So we'll go ahead and build a couple more of those, make sure everything is good to go. There we go. Quick build them just because. Storage is too far. Is it now? Is that what you're going to tell me here? 
So we'll build a warehouse. And that should be fine. That'll allow them to uh, get up and running. Yes, we've added even more workers to our already uh, completely inadequate workforce. Oh, we have 56 laborers. We should be okay. They should be eventually incentivized to go and... Uh, go and uh, do their own thing here. You know, I never actually took the time to read these tooltips. Probably should have done that. So if this is checked, builders will be assigned before the normal priority building jobs are filled. If unchecked, builders will be assigned after all building jobs are already filled. All right, so let's just uh, ignore that. I think we're fine in all honesty. Trade is uh, working about as uh, well as it can. I think we're importing coal anyway. So I think we can probably pretty safely uh, get rid of these. Oh, they already stopped having people work here. Okay. Well, that is fine then. If it's not wasting uh, productivity, we could be doing other stuff with. Uh, Paper-wise, I don't think we need to worry about it. we got a lot of iron we aren't using. Probably should be exporting that. Output inventory. The printing press is full, huh? We already have too many books. Well, stuff is improving. So pretty much all we can do now is uh, just conquer all these AI players. All right, so remember that part where you said that we were uh, having a great relationship? Good friend. Um, you're about to become a better friend. And there we go. Actions reek of cowardice. We could have been great allies, but now I'll meet you in battle. Yeah, good luck. I got three battleships and 20 Gundams. You got five dudes of swords, 13 farmers, and 12 archers and a wall. Yeah, um, good luck. I wonder if they'll be able to take one of the Gundams down. I doubt it. Oh, they've got it down to half health. Oh, and that's done. In defeat, we find respect for your might. I hope so. Show us mercy and we vow to serve as vassals in your prosperous kingdom. Okay. All right, dude. That's fine. So that was uh, shockingly easy. So who's the weaker one out of these guys? Yeah, definitely, definitely these guys. Although they have the same, uh, they have the same military strength. These guys just have a slightly smaller population. So, in oh, I can't send battleships because they're too far inland. That might actually prove to be uh, prove to be an issue. Let's let's check and see real quick. I don't want to lose any Gundams. I have oh, I've got three unit slots. So if I can't send battleships and. Uh, Artillery, two times damage on walls. Gundams have an attack power of 959. Artillery is, okay, 1218. Yeah, we'll, we'll do artillery. We'll make one of those real quick. And then, uh, ooh, naval control. That's kind of a, a neat card. See, we're playing on such an easy difficulty. We haven't actually needed to use strategy, which is uh, probably blasphemy to those of you who are really big into strategy games. We might get into that in the future playthrough, whenever one of those might end up happening. Just about ready to go as soon as I get that artillery. Looks like it. If we can't shore bombard the uh, city in the middle of the continent, then we can just send in artillery. And let them do what they need to do. Is this the path you've chosen? Yes, it is. So they've actually got... A little bit better of a uh, a defense, and they're gonna they're gonna actually do some damage against our Gundams. Very very first time, we might actually lose these. That is uh, impressive. But now the wall's not there, so they should start mowing through these guys pretty quick. Yeah, the uh, the cannons did a number on us before we had the walls down, but I think uh, victory is pretty much a guarantee at this point. We'll just have to build a couple more Gundams and we'll be good to go. And there we go. Victorious one, you have shown your might. I bow before you. 
I mean, you don't have to do that. I just wanted to play with my Gundams. You're all good. Okay, so one remains. Just these guys right here. We're going to hold off on a little bit. Got to reinforce our ranks here. Uh, productivity books. Absolutely. All right, so now the only thing left is to research victory score, which will probably take a decent bit of time. And then... Man, look at this. This is an absurd amount of population we've got here. Uh, do we want to bring in more Gundams or more artillery? I kind of like the idea of having the 20 Gundams, honestly. So we'll uh, we'll just bring those guys back in. And I think these guys are close enough to the shore that we can do shore bombardment with our battleship. S battleships should be. Same uh, province, so I think that will work. Look at this. We're making money all over the place, man. That is a... Uh, that is a formidable amount of uh, economic strong arming that we can do. I wonder if they're going to found any more uh, minor cities without our knowledge or consent. Or the express written permission of Major League Baseball. The horror. Uh, let's... Stupid and joke that non-Americans probably won't get. But... Um, Man, we're, we're just like, we're cleaning out this map. And pretty much the only thing we have left to do is build all of these monuments. Which uh, we still don't have enough cash to do. But once, I mean, look at this. We got the Great Buddha Shrine, the Pagoda. Got the Golden Palace and then Himeji Palace uh, right here, which is still very, very far behind. But once we conquer everything, we will uh, dismantle our military and put all of those resources into making these. And then I think once we have these four built, we're going to win the game officially. Not just winning the game because we conquered everybody with Gundams. We've got 18. We've got a couple more of these left to build. Then we'll uh, we'll check these guys out and then uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see how the game decides to uh, award us our victory. They're still bringing in immigrants. We don't have room. We don't really need them, honestly. All right, so as soon as I see that 20 pop up next to here, we'll go to town and get these guys uh, on the path to vassalization. Man, would you look at that? It is just absurd, the amount of stuff we got going on over here. It actually looks kind of cool from a bird's eye perspective. Not all of these houses are up to a level 8. So I think it's still an issue with the tier 2 luxury items. So the tier 3 stuff, absolutely no problems. As soon as they actually have access to everything, then they're good to go. It's these bonsais, man. I don't think I can upgrade the bonsais any more than we already have. I mean, I could just put another passion book in, another productivity book. And then sustainability book's not going to matter. I don't really know what else we can do. I think it's probably just about it. All right, so in we go with our large army. Hello, diplomacy, huh? Well met, dear ally. Yeah, you're going to meet my Gundams. Here we go. All right. How unfortunate. Friendship could have been our path, but now you've chosen war. Uh, yeah, I will brace myself. I think we're going to be okay, even though you have a 12 cannons, a wall... 11 dudes with guns and 27 guys with pickaxes. I think we'll be fine. Although you are uh, kind of shredding our Gundams right now. At least until the wall falls, which it will in two seconds. And there it goes. Now, make no mistake from the results of this, I am not good at combat games. This is just... Uh, me brute forcing mechanics based on having a ton of Gundams going in here. So if you were looking forward to me doing a playthrough of Civilization or uh, Age of Empires or anything, no, it not, would not be like this. And there they go. Domination victory. The world judges your legacy. Score of 9,428. Difficulty normal. Oh, wow. Okay, so... <laughs> okay, our score is 9,428. 
and their scores are all under a thousand. Okay, I think we won. It's too bad we couldn't get our victory score up higher. But um, but yeah. Bow to your might, great leader. Spare us the sword, and we shall serve you as devoted vassals in your grand kingdom. I mean, it's not that serious. I got to play with my Gundams. So we're all good. So now we'll uh, we'll recycle our weapons of war and uh, funnel our funds into monuments, and then that'll be it. I don't think I can recycle all. Ah, I can. All right, cool. So now we have cool half a million. Oh, this game is so laggy now. This is done. This is cool that I can actually have the uh, opportunity to uh, manipulate stuff like this. I think we're selling uh, watches, pocket watches. Not that it matters. But what are we buying a lot of? Coal? Yeah. We'll decrease the price of coal, increase the price of pocket watches. Uh, there's nobody working on the Golden Palace. We're working on Himeji Palace. We don't have enough money to quick build, but we do have enough money to quick build this one. That is a cool looking asset. Look at this. I just love the uh, I love the artwork in this game. This is a really cool looking asset as a uh, a special uh, faction in game thing. I think it would look a lot better when it's not snowing, but that is just fantastic. I love that. Now over here, this should also look really good, except now we uh, can't really hurry this, I don't think, if we don't have any workers working on it. But we never use the speed boost anyway. So I guess that's that. I'm going to take a drink of water real quick for the past hour and a half talking straight. Yeah, now this uh, just has to get finished, which I imagine I will just uh, time-lapse the rest of that out as we're finishing up here. But yeah, uh, let's take a quick look, overview of the map. Just look at this. Look how obnoxious this is. All this pink everywhere. 1,580 residents in uh, all of our stuff. We only had one colony, which is crazy. We had two or three of them last time. We didn't do quite this well, so we definitely learned a lot from our previous engagement here. And yeah, stuff is just looking really, really fantastic. These guys are miserable over here. They're 78% happiness, so let's give them a little bit of uh, something to be excited about, since we do have all that other fun stuff to deal with. Um, Can I put... Uh, that's not a good spot for it. We got a couple of these we can do. Just put some uh, taverns in different spots. Try and increase our happiness before we uh, say goodbye. Final act of benevolence after mowing down half of the map. Slowly increasing. Yeah, the entertainment thing was way low, so that should really, really help out. So is there anything else that's going to help with entertainment? I think there were a couple other ones that might have been useful for that. But I don't remember what they were. I know, typical. I guess I was incorrect. I don't see it, so we'll just do another. Uh, we'll just do another tavern. Uh, if I can find a spot for it, up here, I guess seems to be the only other place I can put it. Fifty-six years, a net loss of population because of people dying of old age. But hey, there we go. Our f entertainment has increased substantially. Looking great. Overall happiness in this area is eighty-seven. And over here, it's 97. So I think we've done very, very well for ourselves. Coming up on the uh, full research of the victory score. And then, of course, just waiting on enough funds to take care of our palace quick build. But yeah, that is going to be it for this series. I'm going to time lapse this while I'm talking to you guys. But 
It is just so much fun to get to do these things every day. Well, most days, six days a week. And I'm very thankful you chose to join us for this one. It's always, always a good time. And I cannot wait to see what we're going to be able to do next. We do have a couple of uh, other things that have been going on the channel. If you haven't seen those, I think most of you are watching the Timberborn videos. But just in case you haven't, we started a new live stream one uh, this past Saturday on the diorama map. That is update four with the Iron Teeth hard mode. Or no, that's normal mode on that one. Yeah, it's normal mode, but we have a lot of mods. A lot of mods. So go check that out. First stream is a good time. Those should be pretty much every Saturday. Um, maybe with a couple variations. And then yesterday, as of the posting of this video, started a new video series in Timberborn with the Folktales. Also with a ton of mods on the Thousand Island map, which is going to be a whole lot of fun. Going to be a little bit more of an aesthetic-focused build. Should be a whole sorts of good fun. And of course, our Ostra series continues on Friday this week with the 43rd episode in that series, which is fantastic. Really good stuff. And City Skylines as well. Got some stuff coming up in the pipeline for that that hopefully you guys will enjoy. We'll, we'll take a chance on it, see if you guys like it. And there's a couple other games uh, that we're going to be looking at in the future as well. Now that this season of Kingdoms Reborn has come to an end. But again, thank you so much for being here. I really, really, truly appreciate you. And I value the fact that you take time out of your day to watch me play these games and make these silly videos. So again... Big thanks to you, and of course, big thanks to the Beard Boosters making these videos possible with their contributions behind the scenes. Really, really helps me out. As the uh, income from YouTube can be a little bit uh, uncertain at times, depending on who chooses to watch what videos and when and different times of the year. So them supporting me in that way really, really helps me uh, continue doing this instead of having to go off and find another second job somewhere else. And uh, I'm just very, very thankful for them. So if you want more information on that, there's links in the description, but please do not ever feel obligated to do any of that or give me anything, even your time. Just uh, the fact that you're watching this at all is super, super exciting to me, and I'm just very thankful for you again. So hopefully you're having a good rest of your day and that uh, you'll have a uh, fun and a safe time. As always, stay safe, have fun, and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.